Right then. That's me up and about. Now to go and join my loving mother and Dawson twin brother downstairs. Where's that sister of yours? She'll be down in a minute. You're damn straight. Millie, you know we don't use bad language in this family. Naughty. Sorry mum. That's okay, just remember. No swearing. What if I do swear again? You'll be grounded. That's what. You do realize I'm 18 now don't you? I am well aware of that. But as long as you live in this house you will get grounded if you're naughty. Come now, Millie. You know that. So mum, how are you getting on? I'm getting on just fine, darling. How are you and Molly getting on? Not too bad. Molly can still be very naughty when she feels like it. No I can't, mummy don't lie. Molly, that's naughty you shouldn't speak to your mother like that. Molly, that was very naughty. You do not speak to me like that. Ever. I am your mother, you should treat me with respect. When we get home you are going straight to bed, naughty girl, naughty little madam. You should think twice before you say such naughty things. How are you certainly so involved? How dare you talk to your grandmother like that? You are being very naughty today. I'm out of here. Molly, I am very disappointed in you. How could you be so naughty as to talk to me like that? Whatever you old bag. That does it. Sit in that armchair right now. Naughty. When we get home we are going to change your nappy, and then put you to bed. Your five-year-old daughter still has nappies on? I'm afraid so. She still has to have nappies on because she always wets and messes herself. Didn't you bring any nappies with you? I did, but, no buts, Shelby. Your daughter's nappy is soaked right through. Go and change her. Now, we're going to go and give you a nappy change now, darling. Come on. Let's go and change your nappy. Jane, are you okay? I'm good thanks mum. Are you sure? Would I have said it otherwise? No. There's your answer. What are you thinking about? How the boys like to spunk over me. Are you being dirty minded again? Yeah, sorry. You know we don't do dirty minds in this family. Naughty girl. I'll put a nappy on you if you don't stop with the dirty mindedness. You'll put a nappy on me? Yes I will. One more dirty thought, and it'll be a nappy on. And then you'll be spending all day in nappies, getting changed when you need it. In fact, come with me and we'll put a nappy on you now. Why do I have to have a nappy on right at this very moment? Because I said so. Come on, nappy, right now. No. Naughty girl, I said you're having a nappy on now, and I mean it. There. Now that your nappy is on it stays on until you need changing. You're in nappies all day from this point. Yes, mum. Here we are, honey. All systems normal? Absolutely, babes. Here we are. Two senior citizens in their 80s. I know, I'm 80, and you're 81. Sadly we may not be around much longer. Here I am in my office. 80 years old and still at work. Hi, Darren. Hello, Mr. Multiple. You said you're 81 now? No. 80. How old do you think I am? Let me see. About 160. Not a bad guess. But not right. 165? Keep guessing. 170? Nope. 175? Wrong. 180? Afraid not. 185? No. All right then here is a gamble of a guess. 499? Sorry. I give up. How old are you? Well, I was born on April 25th, 1112. I started working in multiple areas in 1133. I waited for about 8 centuries before meeting anyone. I first met Ramana in 1995, and then I became her university lecturer in 1999. I was 883 in 1995 and 887 in 1999 respectively. I celebrated my 900th birthday on April 25th, 2012, and now it's 2045. Blime me. That makes you 933 years old. That's right.
I'm 933. But how have you managed to live that long? That's amazing, and yet biblical at the same time. I don't know how I've managed to live this long. But what I do know is that in 17 years time, I'll be 950. Provided I'm still alive by then. You're not immortal then, I take it. No. I'm not immortal. I've just been able to live for 933 years. You do realize that makes you the oldest man in the world. At 933. I know. Not everyone will live as long as me. Sahara Johnson will. In fact she'll live way longer than you. How long will she live? Forever. She has recently realized she can't die. On top of that, she can never grow old. She's immortal? Yes. She's immortal. How old is she at the moment? 52. The same age as my goddaughter. Wow. Time to go now, methinks. Well, this is perfect. Tell me about it, Dad. I know, our time had come. There's nothing we can do now, it was inevitable. Especially for me. Why now? No no, don't get upset, or comfortably yet folks. Lucy, darling wife. Roscoe, darling husband, how's our daughter getting on? She's getting on fine. She has her own daughter now. Her name is Jane. I'm a grandmother now. You would be if you were still alive. Just like us, you're not. That's where you're wrong. We're all to be resurrected today, and you're all going to have your youthful appearances restored. I'm staying here. Okay, that's you lot all rejuvenated. Now it's time for us to return to Earth. Let the resurrection commence. Oh hey. We're alive. See ya peeps. Let's go darling. I'll be off home now. Ditto to that. What an experience and a half that was. Absolutely. What a seemingly bright evening. Hello Millie. Hello there, Molly. Hey you too. Hi James. Hi peeps. Hi there. What's up? What a day. Some day this has been. Oh my god. This is a turnout. Wasses. What a get together. You can say that again. Love it. Excellent. Mad. One more thing. Thank you for watching this totally awesome cartoon series. It has been great bringing you 38 episodes. And we hope you've enjoyed watching them as much as we've enjoyed bringing them to you. Goodbye from the Barrett family.